What's up, y'all? This is Cyrus back with the reaction y'all from the Fat Man's podcast. I got another reaction for y'all. If y'all hear in the background, it's a dry going. Uh, it's starting to make all that noise. Um, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, but hey, I got a reaction for y'all from uh, J R E in the fam. So before we get into it, please hit that like button and subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 800 subscribe by the end of this month, so please do share share this video with everybody you see your family friends whoever you see and just tell them to subscribe to the fat man's podcast right so the reaction name is joe joe rogan dora peterson was right about the woke insanity he saw the he saw this a mile from miles away so let's get here to it uh i i think i think i saw uh matt wash on on this up on this uh, interview, so hey, let's get into it. We'll see what uh, Drew Wong Tama and Matt Walsh. Oh, I meant to say, red wave, red wave, you guys. Uh, looks like the House uh, uh, Republicans are two two oh six, Democrats are one one eighty two. Uh, we might look, we might, we might, we, so they just gained five. Um, Republicans just gained five seats. Democrats lost lost seven seven seats. Uh, we look like uh, Web Wave is here. It looks like we're gonna win that. Um, the U.S. Senate uh, uh, Democrats gain uh, Democrats just gain one more gain the seat. We're at uh, forty six, and then uh, Republicans just lost one seat, and they're at forty eight. If y'all didn't know. Uh, majority, majority is 51. So for, for, for governor, uh, Democrats are at 22, just gained two seats. Uh, Democrat, I mean, uh, Republicans just gained, just lost two seats. They're at 20, uh, um, Republicans at 24, Democrats at 22. So, uh, yeah, my guy here in Minnesota didn't, didn't really win. I thought he, I thought he would win, but I guess not. It was, it was. It, I mean, uh, Tim Walls, but I think he, I thought it was gonna be uh, Scott Jensen. That's what I really wanted. He was like two hundred, two hundred, two hundred thousand away from winning. So, oh well. Yeah. But all right, y'all, let's get up in here, y'all. I'm sorry, I had to say that. Red wave, red wave, y'all. So we we'll see. Obviously, it looks like we're gonna win the. Uh, was the U.S. Senate or the House and uh, the governor? Um, not yet. It's a it's it's a tie right now. Compelled use of pronouns. I remember. Rem well, when Jordan Peterson first started talking about compelled speech and compelled use of pronouns, I, rem I remember people thinking like, "Why do you care about this? This is like such a small issue with a marginalized group of people. Like, let them." have their identity and use the pronouns they want. And, you know, this is like, what was it, 2015, 2016? And I remember his warning, and I remember many other people like, this is going to spill over. Like, this, if you can enforce this on a professor, and if you can enforce compelled speech, because Canada doesn't have the same free speech laws we do in America. Yeah. And if you can, like, where does it go? How are you compelling it? Well, it means through violence or through police or through the, the 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 fear of being arrested the fear of having your job taken away from you like this is literally what happens when you use laws to compel people like you have to have some sort of a punishment if they don't they don't follow through if they don't follow your orders and this is what he was wor worrying about and i remember at the time being like i hope he's wrong like i hope it doesn't get that big but now here we are 7 years later yeah and he was right because there's also a difference between telling people they can't say something, which is what free speech suppression usually is, uh, and that's bad enough. But then telling people that they that they have to say something, yes, compelling them to actually say something, putting words in their mouth and telling them that you have to say this, um, and it's not just it's not it's not you know, pronouns. It's not a small thing because when you when you use the she for a he, uh, you're not only being forced to say something, but you're, you're being forced to affirm. And acquiesce to a claim that you don't agree with. You're, you're being forced to express a belief that's not yours. I mean, it's like uh, it's not much different from 
you know, a, a dictatorship forcing someone to profess belief in a religion. You know, for, it's like it's forced conversion, basically, is what it is. Yeah. Um, and uh, and one, once you allow that, it doesn't matter. Of course, it's going to start somewhere small. It's just pronouns. It always starts that way. But but like I said, it's it's also it's actually not small. Pronouns are there's a reason why the left makes a big deal out of it. So any, anytime people on the right say, well, it's not a big deal in response to the left making a big deal about something, well, they wouldn't be making a big deal about it if it wasn't a big deal. And the, the fact that, they, that, they, that they're choosing this hill to defend should tell you that there's something here worth fighting over. My kid was going to school with a girl who was a they, them. She decided she was a they, them. And she demanded that they talk in they, them way. Like you had to use when you were referring to her as a plural. This girl I, wore makeup. Dressed like a girl, just decided that she was a they them, and would get angry if you misgendered her, and, and by what, not calling her her a plural. Yeah, and what does that what does that mean? So we we have enough of a problem getting someone who identifies as a woman to tell us what a woman is, but right, what's a they? Yeah, what do you, what do you like? Describe to me the feelings of being a they. Describe you know, can you describe that? What is that? What is that experience like? And uh, and anytime you ask someone to do that, it immediately descends into into incoherence. And also, by the way, the actual uh, gender neutral pronoun for an individual is it. It's not they. So it's interesting yeah. that well, nobody wants to be an it because it's That's dehumanizing, offensive. right? Yeah, they want to be a, a they. But yeah, you ha if you're calling yourself non-binary, you have dehumanized yourself because human beings exist in a in a sex binary, male and female. If you're rejecting that, you are rejecting your human identity. And so you've already dehumanized yourself. You, you are actually it. If it's true that you are not a male or female, then you are an it. We don't know what else to call you. And then maybe more importantly, one, one of the things that you're doing when you're doing that is you're giving people, especially if you do it to young people, you're giving them an opportunity to be special and to get special treatment without any special yeah. act. They haven't done anything that... Before we get uh, to where uh, Joe Rogan gets on... Um, He's absolutely right. Jordan Peter did predict it seven years ago. And he doesn't have the same free, you know, free speech as we do. But the sad part is that they really uh, consider this to put this in in their, in the laws. And that I don't think that's right. Compel speech is so wrong. I shouldn't I, I shouldn't have to call you uh she he or whoever you think you are right I you you could think you are free to think who whatever you want to think but I'm not going to get wrapped into that kind of stuff I think it's wrong you're not special you you to me you look like a man you look like a female just because you dress like one don't mean you're not one you know what I mean it's like, uh, it's like logic has gone out the world and common sense. It's like, what the hell is going on? It's like people are so sensual now these days. You can't say a damn thing. You can't make a, you can't make a joke now about fruit people, about, you know, gay people, trans people, even like even straight people get mad when they, when somebody get, when, uh, get jumped on. That is sad. Like, bro, I'm telling you, it's like, I be seeing these people that my age, I'm like, bro, what, like, what are you, why are you so, why are you tweaking like that? It's just a joke. They damn near want to fight you over a joke. Oh man, I ain't like I ain't like that, man. You know what I mean? I ain't like that. I ain't I ain't no joking person. What you can't take a joke? That's what your ass is. You ass is beta. That's what you tell. Beta. But um, he's actually Matt, Matt Watch is actually right. So like what? Like what? What is a what does a they feel like? It's like I can't call you he, she, the, the, the. You want to like you see that one video where he said um, the pronouns he had to debate with that one trans uh, transgender person, 
Drawing a piece I had posted, I had read to it. It's like the her the the there the 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 there the va something like that. It's like goddamn, I ain't call you all the damn names. Like what the hell? But he's absolutely right. It, it it became a big thing. We all thought it was gonna be a small thing. Oh, you shouldn't care and stuff like that. But hey, you see now these days, you can't say a damn thing about that. You get canceled for you get canceled for even putting your opinion out there. But you know that's how it go. So what's good with Joe uh, with Joe Rogan saying? I'm gonna go back a couple seconds so we can get the context and stuff. You're giving people, especially if you do it to young people, you're giving them an opportunity to be special and to get special treatment without any special yeah. act. They haven't done anything that warrants that unique behavior. Yeah, I, I think that's a really important point. I think I think that's a, that's actually so much of this that and, and, and people don't notice it, but a lot of this is uh, is just it's just standard narcissism. Yes. Especially you listen to these, you know, why is this so common among celebrities now? All the celebrities have, have uh, trans kids and they're coming out as non-binary and whatever else. And then you listen to them, like Demi Lovato or whoever, and you, you listen to them explain why they're they them. It's always, well, I just, uh, I, I just, I don't identify with these labels. I'm beyond that. I'm above that. It's like these labels <laughs> were good enough for billions of humans before you, but it's not good enough for you. That You can't find yourself there. But, but all these other billions of human beings, it was fine. They had no problem. But you're so special that we need to change the rules of the English language for you specifically. It's, it's incredibly egotistical. It's bizarre. It's like if you feel that you're different than everyone else, you're still a female. You're just a different human being who happens to be a female. If you're so unique, go prove it with your actions. Pr right. Prove it with your work. Prove it out there in the world. But to demand this very special attention, and, and that's what we give people. Like, if you give people that thing today, they'll tell. There's groups of people that will tell you, "You're amazing. You're incredible. You're beautiful. You're brave." It gives them positive affirmation for making these decisions. It's also it's also uh, part of what you're describing is, is personality, right? I mean, it, it, so if you're saying, "Oh, I'm a I'm a female," but I don't identify with girly things, and I don't like the color pink, and whatever. Okay, that's your personality, it, yeah. and it's fine. There, there are many ways to be a woman. There are many ways to be a man. There's like almost infinite ways of doing it, because each man and woman has their own personality, their own perspective of the world, and that's fine. So I, I think that what I'm expressing is more, the, the kind of traditional idea is much more uh, expansive, because it allows you, as a man, to just you know be, be who you are. You're still a man, but be who you are. The, the idea now is that if you're, well, if you're a man, but you, um, you have interests or ideas that fall outside of the standard norm, now you lose your manhood. You're actually a woman. So they're actually reinforcing the gender binary while, while trying to destroy it at the same time, which is interesting. But mo I think most of what they're trying to describe is actually just personality. Yeah. And now we have this situation where, you know, you could have a person who has five different genders and six sexual orientations, but no personality because their personality has been subsumed by all of these labels they've categorized and labeled and everything and and it's uh, it's really strange the uh art exhibit recently where the girls threw soup on the van gogh you, you know about that story oh, yeah yeah yeah. The, they asked uh someone was interviewing them oh patrick bet david was interviewing them and asked them uh, can i ask what your pronouns are and she said she was he she they he, she, and they. I go, so, she, so you're masculine, you're feminine, and you're plural. She's all of them. <laughs> she's everything. She's right. basically like a Hindu god. <laughs> it's like, like, what are you? This is just laziness. At least choose one. It's like, just pompous nonsense. It's just, in that particular case, thinking that you're going to fucking cure climate change by throwing soup on a priceless painting and then gluing yourself to a wall. And also, what does it tell you that the person interviewing her knew that she definitely has different pronouns. Like yeah, you just you just know sure. it, it comes with the with the package, which yeah. tells you that, again that this is a, an ideological and political thing. It's not an actual identity. If you were one of those people that thought that there was a, a literal attack on the foundations of this country to try to destroy it from the youth up, what better way to do it than with social media reinforcing? Oh yeah, that's the end of the video. It's just a short clip, but.
He is definitely right. Yeah. Might have to watch this here too. Additional versus trans, there are more than two genders. Okay, I'm gonna have to do that with y'all, man. I might have to do that with y'all. Want me put up in my watch, my watch later. You know what I mean? But are you back to what I was saying? They're definitely right. It's like. It's like when talking about you're belong, you're uh, beyond. Well, when Jordan little, Peterson when you first started put, talking about fuck. compelled speech and compelled use of pronouns, I. You would say I'm beyond these these labels, stuff like that. He, man, he, she, male, female, and stuff like that. But then you'll put more labels. How does that make any sense? Like, like they like a, a god or something like that. They're beyond labels or something like that. The only person that could be beyond labels is God. Nobody really know. We all we, we think God's a fee, uh, male. We don't even know what, what God is. We just know we we believe he's a male, but we we really don't know. We really don't know. You know what I mean? We haven't seen him in his physical form. We don't know if he's tall as hell or if he's short as hell. We don't know if he's if if uh he walks like us. You don't know. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I don't know. Look, me personally, you know, I believe God is a, fee, a male, but you know, uh. So it's like it's like they're saying like they're beyond like these labels and stuff, which I don't understand. Just like uh, he, she, they, like what the fuck is going on? Like how am I supposed to know this? And so, so these social media has effed up these kids now. It's like they sixteen years old. I'm like, then they debating like, am I he, she, they, they? It's more confusion. And then you got all these parents that are cool with that. It's not cool. They know, you know what it is. They they are male or female. They came out of you. That's how you and your husband had, had them. You can't just, it can't just be, you can't, no female can just be a he and no man can just be a she. That would just be backwards. I don't know. I I really don't know. You know what I mean? And I'm not gonna get wrapped up to into it. You know what I mean? Just crazy to me. But hey, yo, that's the end. Of, that's the end of the video, y'all. Please hit that like button and subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 800 subscribers by any of this. I'm sorry about the background, y'all. This is the dryer. Um, please share this video with everybody that you see but uh your family friends whoever you see and just tell them to subscribe to the fat man's podcast y'all and you gotta put your comments in below uh you know what i mean i do read all of them i just i'm not i might not respond to all of them, but i definitely do read them y'all but hey y'all see you guys right next so peace out y'all i remember people think